So today I was thinking about how some women will have a dude ask them out on a date, but then the chick will bring their friend along with them in some way, shape, or form of like, hey, the dude's kind of creepy or whatever, the friend is going to be there to call it out and say, hey, no, this guy's bad, let's leave. Now, certain situations, it's understandable, but if you're going to make that step to go and meet somebody, to, you know, go out on the town, per se, chances are you're going to go out in a public place. There's going to be a lot of people, so just in case something really does go awry, you could easily turn to the person next table over and go, hey, this guy's a freak. The question came up, and I was thinking about that, and from... The guy's perspective, if I were to ask a girl out and then she says, hey, I'm going to bring my friend along, is that okay? I'd be like, no. <laughs> because from a guy's perspective, if that were to happen, you would think, okay, I'm going to spend time with this woman. And now here is this thing coming along with her that is a problem. Because I want to focus all my attention on this and not have to deal with uh, a, a referee. You know, this isn't a WWE match. I mean, yeah, it is like a wrestling match in like WWE where uh, you're out there solo and then your competitor comes out and there's someone along with them. And while you and your competitor are fighting, that person sitting outside the ring just may grab your foot while you're in the ring and pull you down sometimes like we don't want that <laughs> and another thing we're not going to want to pay for your friend's food too and so when i think about these types of girls that will invite their friends to come along too it's almost just like oh hey i got a guy that's going to pay for my meal he'll pay for your meal he's nice enough yeah just come on on if he's nice enough he'll pay for your meal too let's all just get free meals you know um, and that's not what this is all about is just like how people are trying to get free meals from each other but it goes way deeper than that because most of the time guys i'm gonna ask you if you've ever been on a date with a chick and she brought a friend with her how did that date actually go i want to say chances are there was never a second date and if there was it, it, it faded away really quick and the friend probably came along then too uh so most of the time, if a chick is going to bring a friend, that relationship isn't going to start out well, if it even starts at all. And that's what made me start thinking about the psychology of certain types of people. People in general, not just women who bring their friends on for dates, but people that you should avoid, I should avoid, and everybody else that has a decent, uh, good amount of humanity in them uh, should avoid. And this transitions to this segment I like to call, We Live in a Society. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is a lesson on people that you should avoid. Now there's going to be a male version and a female version. So let's start with the male version. Coming from my own personal uh, experience, uh, when you go to school, high school, whatever, you will get like your core friends, all right? Your core friends could be from uh, two friends, one friend to a maximum of maybe six friends, whatever. Now, you may have been on the football team or the wrestling team, and you have that second outer layer of friends that you did spend a decent amount of time with, but they weren't your friends that you went out with every weekend and did stuff with. But they, they were there here and there. They were at parties, whatever. And then that third layer... It's that third layer. It's the kids that you might have been friends with when you were like in elementary school, but then they went to a different school, and then they came back, and they were a little different, but then there was still kind of like that, oh, yeah, hey, I remember you. Yeah, we had some good times. Things are cool. Yeah, you're cool, man. Oh, yeah, you're cool. But you realize they are very different than how you remember growing up as a kid with them. Those are the types of friends I'm talking about, the third layer. You know, the first core and then the first, the little layer outside of that, the second layer, is going to be fine. Those friends are going to be okay. It's that third layer that you have to worry about with those types of people. For instance, 
I remember we had graduated from high school. This was like a couple years after graduating high school. And this friend that comes from that third layer, I'd known him since like first grade or whatever, but he, he had his own new set of friends, you know, as teenagers, whatever. And, uh, you know, but we still kind of chatted here and there. Anyways, he calls me out of the blue and he says, Hey man, yeah, hey, remember good times, yeah, hey, hey bro, um, do you happen to have like $120 you could just lend me? I'll pay you right back next week. I, I swear, man, I'm kind of like the guy that, okay, if I was in that same situation and there was no one else to call on, I, I could understand, you know, I'm, I'm very sympathetic, I have empathy for uh, people, you know. Because I always think, what if I was in that situation? I would love to have someone to help me out. But that that's where, that's the first red flag. Especially when it's coming from that third layer of people that you kind of don't, you're not that attached to anymore. But then these people are coming at you as if they're the second layer or the core of your friends. And they're talking to you as if you just hung out with them last weekend and you haven't seen them in a year or two or whatever. Oh, hey, man. Yeah, I just need like 120 bucks. Hey, man, I know you got money, man. I know you do. Like, and that's that's another thing when they, they press it on you. I know you got money. I know you can help me out. It's like a lot of times I don't. Like what? There's a lot of people that would always think, hey, man, you got Have you ever dealt with that, too? Like I, I got bills to pay, too. It's not like I'm sitting around and just, you know, on a hill of cash. I'm really not. So anyways, I finally got it out of him of what his problem was, like why he needed the money. And it was because his sports car, this Camaro, was uh, in lockup because he was speeding. And I think it was under the influence of something. He was just like, oh, man, yeah, I just got to get it out and all that stuff and my driver's license and stuff. But I, I, I got to get my car out of the thing, you know, and blah, blah, blah. So I'm just like. Okay, I mean, first of all, you shouldn't have been doing what you were doing, but let this be a lesson to you. I'll help you out. And uh, I, I asked him, will I get this money back next week? Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got you, bro. I got you. Hey, man. Yeah, we're cool. We're close. We're homies. All right, blah, blah, blah. So I give him the money. Uh, he gets the car, drop him off at this place, the big garage. It was actually just a car lot that was surrounded by chain link fence. And he's like, thanks, man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're the best. You're cool. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm cool. I'm cool. I wasn't cool if I didn't give you the money, though. So a week passes by. I hear nothing from him. I'm thinking, oh, maybe times are tough. Maybe he's needing that money for something else. Two weeks pass by. I'm like, all right. He hasn't called me. I call him. He's just like, oh, yeah, yeah, I got you, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, when do you want to meet up? I'm like, I can meet up anytime. Tell me when. Okay, yeah, well, uh, let me get back to you. A couple more weeks pass by. Hey, dude, where's the money? Oh, things are kind of tough right now, dude. Okay, well, according to your Facebook here, I'm seeing you out buying drinks. You're kind of like balling, living it up and stuff. I'm like... You could take some of that money that you took a photo of yourself holding up and give it back to me, pay me back. Oh, yeah, no, that, that man, that was just show money. You know, I was just like trying to, you know, I'm like, no, I don't because I i don't do that. Maybe once, ironically, as a joke, making fun of people like you. Anyways, <laughs> it took about two years of me randomly running into him at certain places, Walmart, Target, the grocery store, whatever. I'd be like, hey, how you doing, man? Hey, what's up? You got any money for me? He'd be like, oh, yeah, hang on, hang on. He'd go and grab out a 20, crumpled up 20, and give it to me. I'd be like, where's the rest? Oh, yeah, you know, you know how it is, man. I just don't got the rest of it right now, man. But uh, I got you, you know. And, uh, yeah, it took two years of me running into him here and there. And he finally paid back the 120 bucks. I got to say, I got to hand it to him. He did pay me back. But by the time I got the money back after two years, it didn't feel like I gained anything because the 20 bucks here, 20 bucks there was just pff, never again will I have anybody from that third layer of friends 
try to call me, ask me for money. Thank God I'm like, most of the people on my Facebook, there's 50 people, you know, that's it. Because everybody, like, when I first got Facebook, I added, like, almost every single person I could think of off the top of my head. Have you ever done that, where you just add everybody that you went to school with, and then you realize, oh my god, all of these people, the majority of them, I have nothing in common with them. No, I, I gotta delete all these people. No offense, but I got to. Especially that guy. So, I, I deleted him really quick. He actually would wear a hat a lot like this. What's up, dude? Yeah. Now, the females. Who you should avoid here. Now, there, there's a slew of females that you should avoid. Now, this one female uh, that I ran into at one point, and it was just like, pff, red flag right away, is uh, back in the day, I had a friend who, uh, he was romantic with this lady, and this lady had a friend, a chick friend. So we we're all getting together because we had this project we had to do working on this house. And I had some idea of what we were needing to get into. Now, my buddy and his romantic partner uh, picked up this woman. We were all in the car. And this woman gets in the back seat with me. And... Right off the bat, she just met me, figured out what my first name was right then and there, and turns to me and says, Oh my god, Blake, I gotta tell you about this, this, and this. And I drove my bike all across St. Louis, and I, I rode it and stuff, and oh, it was crazy, Blake. It was nuts, Blake. Like, she kept, like, talking about this stuff and turned to me and talked to me as if, We've been friends for the longest time, using my first name. And you know what they always say when, you know, uh, people like hearing their name. Like, you know, when you're in conversation, instead of saying, hey, how's it going? You should say, hey, how's it going, Tom? You know, so it's like you personalize it. Uh, what is that saying? Uh, people's own names is music to their ears when they hear it from someone saying something. Uh, I read that off of something when I was a kid, it's always stuck with me. But she was doing this tactic. I realize I you come across these uh, people, they have this tactic of latching onto you and making you feel at home right away. And that is, I mean, that is a talent. That is a real, real talent to like just be that fake right off the bat. And I, I, at first you think, oh wow, this person's just really cool and just cuts right through all the BS and just talks to you right away. But, uh, you know, you find out later, like, just throughout the day, uh, I wore on her pretty bad. <laughs> like, all her uh, manipulation and stuff just couldn't withstand someone like me. And by the end of the day, she absolutely hated me. And I loved it. It was the greatest thing ever. Just her knowing that nothing that she was trying to pull uh, was going to ever work on me. It was awesome. But uh, th what I should say about this woman is this. She's just one of those people where she could get a bunch of guys, make them fall in love with her, just for her to uh, ask them to do random things she doesn't want to do. Much like, oh, I need to move this TV. I gotta, I'm moving to a different apartment. Uh, I need all this stuff moved out. And I ain't gonna pay for a moving company. Hey, I got all these guys that really think I'm cool. And they think they have a chance with me. And I'm not gonna get with any of them. Let me call one of them. And I'll just like be really nice. And make them think, oh, maybe they have a shot with me today or something. And just be like, hey, yeah, how are you? No, it's it's really cool. I, it's awesome. Uh, do you think maybe you could help me out and move this thing? You know, I'm sounding very awkward, but there's that finesse that uh, these people can do. That's just amazing. It definitely is a talent, but it's it's used in the most wrong way possible. So that is the female side of things. Uh, when you, when you bump into someone like that. And they're really nice to you all right away. They're wanting to uh, adopt you and put you on the list 
of uh, other guys that think uh, she's interested in them only to like pull them out and use them as utilities when they need a certain thing done. And that's what circles me back all the way to uh, the female getting a friend to go with them on the date, uh, whatever, and, you know, get free food or whatever. And be like, oh, yeah, that's cool. Hey, let's get a free meal out of it. You know, this nice guy, whatever, he's going to take us out and he's going to pay for it because, hey, he's going to do it. He's going to think I really like him. And, uh, uh. Full disclaimer, that's never happened to me where I've been on a date and uh, uh, the female brought on a friend. But I've heard stories. I've seen it happen. And uh, you, you definitely feel bad about that and uh yeah that's uh i'm glad it's just never happened to me because it could happen to anybody anyways this is just a new segment called we live in a society just taking a look at the behavior of humans in general because it is just fascinating um the human behavior in general and just you know the things people play on people and all that so it's definitely interesting it's an educational experience just living in the world we live in. And uh, yeah. anyways, I'm DJ Glowing Ice. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time. Peace out.